Are you a parent that's working from home or trying to during this coronavirus pandemic and you're trying to keep the kids happy and healthy, transition them into this online distance learning thing where you're trying to get your work done, keep everybody fed, keep the house clean? It can feel overwhelming. Sometimes it can feel kind of impossible to juggle it all. Hi, I'm Jackie Flynn. I'm a licensed mental health counselor. I'm a child therapist. I'm a registered play therapist and I am a parent coach. In this video, I share with you five tips that can help you not only get through this time in a healthier way but to nurture that child parent relationship that is so very important not only for the child's long-term mental health but for the mental health of everyone in the entire family my first tip is to create a routine. It feels safe and secure and predictable. When kids can feel safe and secure, the entire environment is different. So get up at the same time each day, eat breakfast, get dressed. I can't tell you how many families are tempted just to stay in their pajamas all day because they're not going anywhere. But getting dressed is so very important. And then do the work in certain increments every day. Be sure to take breaks and be sure to connect during the day. I love routines regardless of the situation, but now they are more important than ever, especially if you're working from home. My second tip is to adjust your workload as much as possible. I recommend not trying to max out your to-do list and to get more work done than ever. While your kids are home, they are going to require connection with you. They are going to require some attention. There will be some interruptions and interruptions are just really great for slowing down your progress. So manage your expectations. Don't try to get more done than you usually get done or even the same amount. Really just kind of lower it down, slow things down for a bit if possible, and that can make a big difference. My next tip is to have some compassion and empathy for your child. It can feel really scary for them. It can feel really scary for us. So the, when we can just slow down and stop and just kind of look at the world through their eyes, we can see beyond any behaviors, any chaotic emotional outbursts, and just see those more vulnerable um, experiences underneath there. Are they feeling scared? Are they feeling overwhelmed? Are they feeling disconnected? And when we can see that, then we can respond to them in a different way. That really nurtures the relationship. Statements like, oh, I could see where you would feel, or I know this is really hard for you right now. Let's just take a moment to calm down. I could see that you're feeling overwhelmed. I'm feeling overwhelmed right now. That can be a game changer. That is so much more effective than screaming and yelling or trying to control the situation. It is connecting with your child. And when you connect with your child, you not only nurture that child-parent relationship, but you give them that feeling of safe and secure and that it's going to be okay. And that is huge, especially when everyone's trying to get some work done from home. It's hard to get it done when everyone's feeling chaotic. When you can lower that down through some compassion and empathy, then the end result is everyone can be more productive, more connected, and more emotionally healthy. My next tip is to reach out for some support if you have an option for that, whether it's a family member or a friend or someone that you know that could provide some in-home child care while you get your work done. It can make a huge difference. If you can fully focus and give your work the attention that you need, even if it's just during a couple of hours, and then step back into the family connectedness time, it can benefit everyone. There's no trophy for trying to power through this all yourself and to get it done without asking for support. So if you do have that option to get some support, I highly recommend it. My last but not least tip is to just play with your kids. When you play with your kids in an interactive, fun way, it sends this message of safety and security and 
things are going to be okay. It supports mental health in a big way. And when we can play with our kids, especially during times like this, it helps to dial down their nervous system so they're not as reactive, not so touchy, not on edge. It can make a big difference in the environment in your house. Now this is much different than a child playing video games all day long. This is connected. This is fun. This is interacting. Some of the games that I love, uh, I love hide and seek. That it's um, a game that supports the child's mental health and relationship health in a huge way. So as they're hiding and you're hiding, they may be working on impulse controls, trying not to giggle as you run around the house trying to find them like, oh, I wonder where he's at. Why well, don't see her anywhere? They may feel that feeling of I matter. I, I am um, worthy of time and connection right now. All of this is such good stuff. They get some patience while they're waiting for someone to find them. Also, games like um, Patty Cake or just uh, board games to where you're just interacting and just having fun during this time is so very valuable and healthy. All right, I wish you the best during this time and always. If you need any further support, you can reach out to me at JackieFlynnConsulting.com. All right, take care.